we teach this watered down gospel where we basically have this hyper grace where you can do anything you want and live however you want, but somehow you will make it into the kingdom. And it breaks my heart because I'm thinking of all the people who are deceived, all the people who think they know Jesus but don't know him. All the people who think they can live however they want to live. And before they die, they could just ask for forgiveness and he will know them. I think of the people around the world who are desperate for him. They are willing to give up their freedom. They're willing to give up their life just to hear about him, just to speak about him. And we are here. We, we don't have time for the word. We don't have time for God. We watch Netflix. We watch our sporting events. We watch our shows and our movies. We go on dates. We talk smack about our family. Our brothers and sisters in church, we talk behind their backs and have the nerve to act like we know him. We're at war. The devil is deceiving us. Slowly but surely, we are getting more and more lazy. seeking him the way we're supposed to, with the desperation that we're supposed to. We're not loving him the way we're supposed to. We're not living as his children. We're not being the salt of the earth the way we're supposed to be. Conviction is what I felt when I read that book. Because it was a mirror to our church. We see it. We live it. This is a daily battle. We should be the salt of the earth. We should be the light. We shouldn't put on light under the bushel. We shouldn't, we shouldn't lose our flavor. This is an everyday thing. Literally every day. You guys are, we're supposed to be an example of Christ. We might be the only example of Christ these people will see in their life. So it isn't something that we're supposed to put on on Sundays or when we feel like it. It's an everyday thing. When we go out to the world, when we're out in the field, we should be doing it all for God's glory. We should be living for His glory. We should be living for Him. He should be the center of it all. 